hey, we're doing it, right? Yeah, we're doing it. Inside the snow globe. Refreshing. When you shake it. Ah. <laughs> when Mark first contacted me about climbing Mount Washington in December, I was like, you know what's another cool area to go to is Utah. <laughs> Sasha's a world champion competition sport climber. That's her background. She hasn't done a ton of ice climbing, but the idea was for her to come out, and I could give her a tour of the local New Hampshire mountain culture. I've been on trips with people who don't emphasize the importance of coffee. I drink a significant amount of coffee. She and I started talking about doing this other bigger, crazy trip, and we wanted to do something small. It's kind of like a warm-up. The best way to get to know someone is to go on an adventure. I want to be capable in ice climbing. And the biggest way for me to expand my comfort zone is by going into situations that are unknown. Mount Washington is famous for having the worst weather anywhere. Hurricane force winds every 72 hours. But if we have someone coming in, we want to give them the full experience of climbing on Mount Washington. You can see the gully now, Sasha. Pinnacle Gully is one of the most classic ice climbs in the world, certainly in the United States. You just look up it and you think, wow, that is such an incredible feature. Made it to the base. <laughs> I will see you up there. Okay, have fun. Yeah, you too. There is something that makes it more difficult than it should be. The ice is weird in there. It's funky. It's brittle. Ice! Your feet can slip off on that kind of stuff, so maybe you're gripping a little harder than you should be. When you add in the elements, frozen fingers. Oh, no. That was close. It turns out to be a very full experience for anyone. You're on the way, Sasha. Come on. OK. Climbing. Ice climbing to me is humbling. I don't know how to read ice yet or where my ax will stay. Is that ice okay? I feel like I'm hanging on by the tips of these foreign tools that I've never really used before. Just figuring it out. Yeah, Sasha. In an element that I'm not familiar with. You have to go through these chapters of feeling hard for you to grow as a climber. But in the moment, you're thinking like, oh, this is so frustrating. How was it, Sasha? Wow, it was awesome. <laughs> this is our next pitch. Yeah, nice. That's sweet. First pitch is brown. <laughs> Got hersicles. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Like, <laughs> is this hair? I'm sure my hairy stylist is gonna be really proud of me. The wind! Oh. Aaron oh. Mount Washington is famous for the wind. That was pleasant. <laughs> that, was... Ah. that was like a uh, nice in... ice spritzer to the face. Ah. The best climber is the most multifaceted one. So I want my career to look like I can be capable in a variety of terrain. There's so much to cover in our sport. What's cool about it is that I could be the world champion in one division, but then a total beginner and full of all of these new experiences that I can have in another facet of the sport. Thank you. Thank you for taking me up there. It's just awesome to see her experiencing the joy of climbing even an element that she isn't used to. 
I have so much respect for stuff that Mark does because there is like so much guts that goes into ice climbing. We tromped down, cruised through the woods, and went to the Harvard cabin to spend the night. It's essentially just like this log cabin in the middle of the woods. It's basically a refuge for climbers. Uh, that includes the caretaker, Rich, who is a good friend of mine. Rich, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Cheers. Cheers. It's a place where you find people that share a kindred spirit. We all love the mountain, and we appreciate the fact that it doesn't give a shit about us, and we kind of respect that. I've never seen anything gnarlier than Mount Washington. <laughs> sure. I mean, we have hurricane force winds, I mean, 60% of the days in a year. Yeah, I've never experienced winds like today. It felt nice to get back here. <laughs> the whole idea of this cabin is so emblematic of our community. You're like a stranger for two seconds here. Totally, but I don't think there's too many other like microcultures or sports or whatever that you can really bond so quickly. Sure, it's definitely a bond that we share. All these guys, yeah, I just met them. Sasha fit in perfectly with the New Hampshire scene. Getting to climb with Mark was such a privilege. Like, I have so much gratitude for just being able to come here and experience a little window into his world. Doing Mount Washington. It's a first. Yeah, it's a good intro. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to doing more stuff with her. I only do this stuff with people that I like hanging out with. And I had a really good time hanging out with Sasha. It was fun. We'll do it again. We'll go a little bigger and we'll do something harder. But to have Sasha's first experience live up to the reputation of Mount Washington, it was awesome. So thank you, Mount Washington, for dishing it up. <laughs>